Square One Sports fans and welcome back to another very special Schoolboy Football feature. I'm your host Joe Mar and Rush is not here today, but this is the Sir at Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting and riveting sports topics, discussions and debates on the internet. So yes, people, we're here today where it all began. You know, a couple of years ago, Calabar High School was our first Manning Cup school by football feature. You know, this is the year that Calabar takes the, the, the next step, or will we see more of the same? That's why we're here to find out. So, follow me as I take a walk onto that field, speak to some of these players, speak to Coach Price, see what Calabar is all about, people. No more talking, let's go. Calabar High School's Manning Cup coach, Coach Price. First of all, Coach, thank you for having us today. You know, um, Calabar is a big program. You know, Calabar has a lot of expectations. How do you feel going into this year's Manning Cup season? Well, we are quietly confident, you know. We are optimistic that, you know, we'll have a good season. We'll definitely play some attractive football and we'll be competitive. And that's what we aim to do. And we're here with the captain of the Calabar Manning Cup team, Mr. Fitzer McLeod. First of all, Tell us about yourself, you know, position that you play, your age, which grade are you in, etc. Center half. I'm the captain of the Calabar football team. Um, I'm 17 years old, soon to be 18. Yeah. Alright, um, and how many years have you been playing Manning Cup? This is my third year. Third year? So you're a very, very experienced Manning Cup player. Very Speak to us about that experience and how it can help you and your um, fellow teammates. All right, so for me, it's a very great experience. The first year, I didn't get as much game time. I thought I did well in training, so I should, but the coach thought otherwise. The second year, which was last year, yeah. I got a lot of game time. I played all the games, right? right? I did an interview last year as well. Yeah. Um, this year, you know, I'm the captain, so yeah. <laughs> um, the experience now, um, I'm the lead of the team, right? And that comes experience, as I say. So I feel like I'm the one that should be putting out the most as the captain. And I should also bring up the others, or the, young, the younger ones, because we have a lot of coach players from last year coming up. So I feel I should bring them up and encourage them to do the same as me. Yeah, so. Well, I am Anthony McDonald, attend Calabar High School, who play for the Money Cup team. All right, how old are you, Anthony? 16 years old. 16 years old, so you're a youngster. Um, is this your first season in the Money Cup? Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, today I was watching you and you were boss in the midfield. How comes this is your first time playing in the Money Cup? Sir, because last year never have enough talented players, sir, so I didn't go to the training play for them. Tell them your nickname? Gaza. Uh, why them call it that? So it was like a game, sir, so start calling me Gaza from there. I'm 16 years old, I play left back and I'm in 5th form, 11th grade. Alright, so 16 year old, are you one of the players who would have transitioned from course last season? Yes, I am. Uh, before we even get into speaking about Manning Cup, just tell me about yourself from course last season, what you managed to accomplish as an individual. Just tell me about that season in a nutshell. Well, throughout the season, we were playing well, winning games, but Later on in the season, I never really played so well, so I went on the bench. <laughs> so, what, what caused the, the, the farm to drop last season? An injury, a grind injury. Oh, that makes sense. So, are you fully fit and ready to go this season? Yes, I am. And do you think you'll be playing most of the games at left back for Calabar this season? Hopefully. All right, um, speak to us about um, Calabar's preparation this season. You know, um, in recent years with COVID and then last year with your recent appointment, this year you'd have had a full year to get yourself seasoned and acclimatized to the Calabar culture. Speak to us about the preparation going into this year's Manning Cup season. The preparation has been good, you know. I mean, we started training in early June, you know. In May, while school was still going on, we went once a week. Once school was finished, we increased it to four days a week. And we were working through the summer playing practice matches, doing some foundation work, getting prepared for the season. So, you know, we're quietly optimistic that we'll have a, a good season. Um, were there any hiccups that Calabar would have come up against during this preseason leading up to this year's Manning Cup season? Not, in, not more than the normal school, you know. Every 
so often schools wait until external exams, whether C uh, CSEC or CAPE, to see if students will come back to school. So other than that, you know, one or two glitches, um, we haven't had any problem, you know. Most of the players got um, their subjects are matriculated to a higher grade. So, you know, teams are young team, the average age is about 15 plus 16. Most of the players have transitioned from the Colts team that made the semi-finals last year. So some of them are having their first Manning Cup experience, but they are acquitting themselves very well. And we hope that as the season progresses, um, they'll get more and more comfortable out there. And how did it feel when Mr. Price would have looked on you and said, Fitzroy, you're going to lead out the team this year? All right. Last year, I was the co-captain, right? The keeper was the captain. And from last year, he told me that if I was going to be here this year, I'm going to be the captain, if I did everything I should do. And I did, and I'm back here to make Calabar a household name. All right, so, all right, Mr. Captain, speak to us about your team's preparation and what was your role in preparing for this season's Morning Cup? Uh, so my, my role preparing for the Morning Cup was to make sure the guys are in line, do the right things, Make sure everybody, even the coaching staff and everybody, are doing the right things, are maintaining their positions. Um, the, the preparation was a very good preparation. We started earlier than last year. Last year we started about June. We started about May this year. So I think this year was a very good year. And the, and the guys was bonding because some of us were playing club football together from January. So yeah. All right. So speak to me about yourself. What type of wing back are you? A simple wing back that likes to overlap, puts the ball crosses and hopefully get assists. Um, watch the strong part of your game. Simple football, knocking it up. A dribbler, dribbler, passer. Yeah. And which player would you say you could compare yourself to? Like which world star would you say you play most like or you try to pattern the game off of? Pidgey, Covey. Imagine the, the youngsters um, in the Barca midfield. I'm a no-nonsense footballer. I don't like the games. The playing, I don't like it, right? Um, I'll compare myself to Van Dyke, Ruben Diaz, you know, those bigger centre-backs. Yeah. And, and what do you think is the biggest strength? My strength? <laughs> strength is the biggest strength. Um, and for a bigger person, yeah. I think I have a, some speed. All right. Yeah. All right, so what position do you play? Left wing and midfield, sir. attacking midfield. Which one of the positions do you prefer? Attacking midfield, sir. Why? Tell me about yourself. Tell me about your game. What type of midfield are you? All right. Um, speak to me about your school's preparation this season. How was preseason for you, and how does it feel to be a Manning Cup player? Rough, rough, very rough. A lot of running, fitness, a lot of ball work. You have to be dedicated if you want to win. Was this some of the hardest that you've ever trained? Yes, it was. And tell us about some of the challenges that, that you face having such a young team. Well, you know, you know, you have to let them learn the system, you know, and they have to understand the system. You know, they are young and impressionable, so, you know, you have to try and mold them into doing what you want to do. But they have really taken on to what I have asked them to do and they are applying themselves. And like I said, we're quietly optimistic. And you know, there's a saying um, that I've heard quite a few times that Manning Cup is often won by the team with the most 19 year olds. Right, that's, that's something that is, is, is widely said. Do you have anything to say to refute a claim as such? No, I think Manning Cup is won by the teams that want it the most. So whether you have 19 year olds or 16 year olds or 17 year olds, it's a team that is most united, most prepared and wants it the most. Alright, so talk to us about your team now. What do you think is the strong points of your team? Uh, strong points, we are ball players. All of us can dribble, all of us can pass. Yeah, so we are natural footballers, you know, but you know, after putting the hard work and thing. And we are most of that, we are dribblers, we are, ball we are footballers, we are talented guys. Yeah. Coach Price, what is it like to have such an experienced former Premier League coach coaching you? It's a nice experience. Um, but at times he can be a little aggressive with us. <laughs> but does he teach you guys a lot? Do you find yourself learning all the time? Always. Always learning new things from him. Alright, speak to me about Calabar and this team. What type of football team is Calabar and what can you expect from Calabar this season in the Manning Cup? Well, Calabar, we're, we're a positional based team and we hopefully 
Hopefully we want to win Manning Cup, we play in Manning Cup to win Manning Cup. <laughs> we will try to go to like quarter finals or semi finals, we try our best. Do you think that's possible? Yes sir. Why do you think that's possible? Because we have some of the best players, uh, midfielders, uh, wingers and attackers here. Uh. Alright, so how far do you think Calabar can take it this season? Um, I don't want to see if, like I'm cocky or anything, you know, but it's a good bunch of lads, you know, it's a good team to be honest. To be honest, um, last year it was more maturity in the team, but this year is more like talent, it's more guys that are, that are talented. Um, because uh, we have about three Jamaica under 15 players. Oh, yeah. Um, we have um, under 17 players, so there is talent this year. But la so I think that we can go really far in this cup if we put our mind to it. Will Calabar be winning the Manning Cup? That's what I'm trying to ask. <laughs> All right, as I said, I am not going to say we are going to win, but we are here to challenge. We are to put in the work, hard work and dedication. It's Calabar out of a lion, as I see, almost for the eyes. So we are here to show Jamaica that Calabar is not a track and field school education but we are student athletes and we are going to put in the work in the Manning Cup and that segues us perfectly into expectations for this season um, you guys would have already started to play a couple of games you're not necessarily the start that Calabar would have wanted to have in my opinion what are the expectations for this team the expectation, the expectation is to be competitive in all the games it's 10 games that we have we played two already um, we have won one and lost one, so we now really need to start see if we can go on a winning streak and start winning some games. But it's our expectation to do well. It's a very tough group. We have a group with four former Manning Cup winners, so it's going to be a difficult group. But we are prepared for um, the group and we are going to play so that we can come out of the, the first round. Um, and you, you, you talk about coming out of the first round, but is that where you see your team going or what? That's what are your maximum goal. expectations? That's the first goal, you know, I mean, any, any, anything after that, it's gravy and you just work on it after that, you know, but the expectation is to come out of the group and be competitive and we see where it leaves us after that. Alright coach, and if you could have one message to the Calabar faithful this season regarding the Mining Cup team, what would it be? Look in the camera and tell them. It's a young team, but it's a team that can surprise. Come out and support, we have a game tomorrow at Arnett Gardens, hopefully. I want to see you all there, Mr. Calabar. Uh, we're going to make everybody proud, sir. Every Calabar fans, old boys, everybody, sir. Yeah. All right. So, yes, people. When you see me, I just start getting medical exercise, getting medical practice. You get me, I because as you know, Joe Margaret, I'm from this side of Sports TV. A big ball the same way. But we're not even going to show off that skill right now. We are talking about this, that feature that we just did. Boy oh boy, was it an exciting one. You know, we spoke to a few other players, we spoke to Andrew Price, a well-spoken man. With all, uh, with all of his wealth of experience, he imparted on us today. Just telling us about Calabar's preparation. Telling us about the expectations of Calabar. Speaking about the talent that Calabar possesses. You know, I'm, I was so excited to do this feature today. We spoke to their captain. And boy, he had a lot to say. People forgive me for breathing so heavily, man. I'm tired, man. I've been running up and down. I've been kicking the ball, as you guys can see. Just showing off my skill. We spoke to one that they called Gaza. And people, I saw him play. And he was bossing that midfield today in training. And God knows he's going to boss the midfield in this year's Manning Cup. And a little left back that they had to speak to us, he's a baller to look out for. Calabar, you know, a team well renowned for track and field and school challenge quiz. A quote unquote traditional high school. But as I said in the introduction, they've had a rough go at it in football the, the, the past couple of years. But I think this year is the year where Calabar comes back and stake their claim. You know, just seeing them play today, just talking to these boys, it really, really, really has got me into the football spirit. I can't wait to see what this Calabar team has to offer people. Thank you so much for joining us. But before I go though, Rush is not here to tell you, so I have to tell you, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the video. Because if each and every one of you guys, wait, I'm not even saying that right, people, the synergy, just forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Just forget someone just said that a while ago. This is it. Like the video. Subscribe to the video. Yes, we get it right, people. Please just forgive that. And share the video to at least 10 people. But 
ensure to get to six subscribers because if each and every one of you guys can manage to do that do you know how many subscribers that gets by the end of the day people anyways people this feature was very 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 good i really enjoyed myself hopefully next time rush can be back but if not you guys will be seeing me here again this was joe Margram from calabar high school and we're out